Have you ever been that person who looked at a top student or someone who's just always getting these crazy high marks and you wonder how do this person do it? Like what is it that they do that makes them get these good marks? For sure you have that person in your class or in your school and you are really really wondering how they do it. Well, I was that one person in high school and I thought let me actually share the things that I did that might have been different from my classmates or things that people didn't know I was doing back then. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you 10 things that top students don't tell you or 10 things that you didn't know about top students. I did a similar video on my TikTok and it is currently on 2 million views, like a lot of people liked it. So I thought, let me actually share it with my subbies so that maybe they can benefit from it as well. And obviously because there are no time restrictions here on YouTube, I'll be explaining some points a little bit more compared to what I did on the TikTok video. So if you did watch that TikTok video, I think you should continue watching this video as well because I might mention stuff that I didn't mention on that video. I must say though that things that worked for me doesn't necessarily mean these are the things that work for everyone else. You might be a top student and you completely don't relate with the things that I mentioned in this video but these are the things that I did and these are the things that I know majority of top students do. So let's get into it. The first thing is top students have multiple resources. You know in your school you have a recommended textbook or even your school will give you a certain textbook but top students don't really rely on that one textbook. They will go and find other textbooks, other online resources or buy extra study guides to supplement what they already have. So you might be wondering where does this person take this information from? How are they able to calculate in a way that you are not even taught in class? It is because they are referring from a different textbook than you. When I was in high school, most of the time, you know, at school you have a textbook that you use like as learners and then there's a textbook that the teacher uses. And usually that textbook is better than the one they gave you. So what I would do is I would ask what textbook is the teacher referring to and then I would go and buy that textbook. So I would be using a textbook from class, a textbook that's the same as my teacher's textbook and then extra study guides. And on top of that, I would use online textbooks. There are a lot of online textbooks. There are a lot of online websites with notes. And you know, people were commenting and saying, okay, which means that top students are rich people because um, if you are poor, you can't afford all of these textbooks, blah, blah, blah. I mean, somehow it's a valid argument, but also online there are a lot of free textbooks. On the video that I did where I was sharing study resources for grade 8 to 12, I shared a lot of websites with free textbooks. So sometimes it's not really about how much money you have, it's how much you are willing to actually do your research and find these resources. But I do not completely cancel out the fact that you do need some money to buy, you know, other study guides that are not available online for free. But all I'm saying is you can't just say I only have one textbook that they gave me in class because I don't have money to find any other textbooks while there is free online resources. The second thing that top students don't tell you is that they have more than one teacher. You know in class you might have that teacher that is not teaching you well, you might have that teacher that is not covering all the topics by the time you write exams, you might have that teacher that is just not consistent with coming to class but you find that there is still that person in your class who still gets 90s for that subject and is still a top student. This is another reason why they are still top students in that subject. It is because 
they have more than one teacher i am talking in form of tutors and in form of online teachers online teachers it could be watching youtube videos it could be online tutoring it could be having a personal tutor it could be attending other teachers classes from another school so which means that if your teacher is not teaching well somebody else is teaching them well if your teacher didn't cover that topic somebody covered that topic with them if your teacher didn't mention something in class somebody mentioned something to them during the other teaching if your teacher is not explaining some other concepts really well there is someone who is explaining those concepts better the third thing that top students don't tell you is that they attend extra classes this ties to point number two that i mentioned so top students don't only attend classes in your school so if your school is offering normal classes and extra classes yes they will attend that but they do not end there top students are usually part of some tutoring program where they go and attend classes maybe during weekends or during school holidays top students usually attend camps camps offered maybe by other schools by other private tutoring programs so this actually means that if your school doesn't offer extra classes the top student is getting extra classes from somewhere else if your school doesn't offer holiday classes the top student is getting holiday classes from somewhere else and if your school doesn't offer weekend classes the top student is getting weekend classes from somewhere else which means that they get more teaching than you do they get more exposed to different teachers as i mentioned in my second point so which means that they are learning more than you and most likely they will get better results than you point number four is that top students study almost every day you know i was not going to mention this point up until i remember that when i was in high school i used to get questions like do you study every day you know and i thought i mean are we not all studying every day up until i realized that people actually study when it is exam time or when we have a test coming up i'm gonna tell you top students are so consistent and they are the most disciplined people you will ever come across a top student doesn't study only when there's an exam coming up or only when there are tests coming up they are consistent worth studying throughout if you ever hear a top student saying yo i passed the test but i didn't study yesterday obviously because you've been studying for the past three months so one day of you not studying is not gonna affect how you do in this test so don't be fooled if a top student tells you yo i didn't study yesterday i don't know how i'm gonna do in this test they have been consistent for the past like five months six months obviously they're gonna do well even if they didn't study for one day point number five is that top students are always ahead this is one thing this is one thing i think gave me such a good head start in metric if not in any grade because usually what i would do is the december or the holidays before i started term i would study work for that term so that when school reopens i am like two weeks three weeks ahead or two weeks three weeks into that term's content so now when a teacher teaches me it feels like revision because i've heard this before i've read this before i've studied this before so now it's like revision and i am able to ask any questions that i have or things that i didn't understand then now they start to make a little bit more sense when the teacher is now teaching me and also it gave me a good amount of time to revise because if you are gonna follow whatever the teacher is doing which means that if the teacher is not consistent or if the teacher is behind you are going to be behind and if the teacher is just right on time that they finish a topic today and then next week it is your exams 
which means you do not get time to do your revision and for me being ahead meant that now i have three weeks before my exams to actually revise go through all the past papers and that meant that i had a very high chance of getting better marks in the exams compared to everyone else who just finished all the topics a few days ago an additional point to this is that top students actually teach themselves work you might be thinking how am i going to be ahead because a teacher didn't teach me this topic so i can't study this topic you know top students don't wait for teachers to do their topics before they do them they are able to sit down with the textbook read the concept understand the concept and be able to apply it and practice that and you know do their own research to find answers so top students don't wait for teachers to reach a certain topic they are able to cover that topic on their own and people were asking me okay but how do you know um what topic is your teacher gonna teach you or how do you know what topics are you gonna cover for that term and stuff like that so you can use your textbook some textbooks at the beginning they divide term one they give you all the topics term two they give you all the topics term three and four in that order the second thing that you can use is past papers for example you are in term one and you are wondering what topics are we going to do in term one take a much past paper you can easily find online and see all the topics that are going to be there those are the topics that you could possibly start with if you completely have no idea where to start the third thing is using a teacher's guide and that is also available online you can search teacher's guide with your subject and the grade that you are in and it will give you exactly what the teacher follows to teach you because teachers don't just teach you random stuff whenever they feel like it they all follow a certain guide that tells them what topic they should start with how long they should teach that topic and when they should give you your test and how much does each of the tests weigh so imagine if you have the teacher's guide you will know most of the things before your classmates and that is what top students do another thing that you do not know about top students is that they always aim to master the hard topics if you didn't know in your exams there are different types of questions that they put they put easy questions moderate questions and difficult questions so all those questions have different level of difficulty so if you're a person who's only going to be able to answer the easy and the moderate you will obviously get average marks and then those ones who are able to answer easy moderate and hard are the ones who are going to get your 90s and there are always these one or two questions that are extremely hard that even if you are a top student it is hard to answer that's why you find yourself getting your 98 percent your 95 percent because there are these questions that they set deliberately that are extremely hard and those questions set apart your 90s student and your 100 percent student even on your textbook when you are doing exemplar questions there are those questions that are like simple you know you are able to answer and then it gets to those questions where you feel like they are so difficult to even answer and sometimes you might ignore them and you don't want to attempt them and you think ah they will never set this one because my teacher doesn't even attempt this level remember what i said your teacher will attempt the basics in class so you can't look at a question and say they won't set it because your teacher never solved this equation they might test that equation that your teacher never solved a top student will make sure that they hunt for the difficult questions so that when they get to the exam they don't only just get the 80 they get a hundred percent another thing that you might not know about top students is that not every top student is smart hey you know a lot of people will be thinking oh you're a top student you are smart you read something once and then you remember it for the rest of the year you only studied two hours and then you know you get your 90s 
maybe some top students want you to believe that that is true some will tell you yo i didn't even study for this exam yo i'm gonna fail yo i haven't been studying yo i slept last night lies some of these top students might try to deceive you and act like they don't work hard they just wake up and write an exam and get 90s you know of which some of them might be smart but i think there is some point of exaggeration there but then there is a good portion of students who are not smart at all but they are hard workers you know when you look at top students for example in grade 11 or grade 12 and you look at how they were performing back in the beginning of high school like your grade eight and nines you'll see that some of them were performing badly or they were average but then because they decided to work hard and be disciplined their marks started improving and they became top students in metric that tells you that not every top student is just purely smart or purely gifted some of them really work hard and what i'm saying is that you should not ever be discouraged and you should never count yourself out and be like yo i've been performing badly i'm just the average student i'll never be a top student because i'm not that smart you will never know what hard work and discipline can do the seventh thing you do not know about top students this one maybe you probably do know is that top students are never satisfied top students are the most competitive people you will ever come across like you be wondering i got a 70 and i am dancing up and down i am happy and this top student they got an 85 and they are sad because they failed they feel like they failed and you're like hi bo here's me with my 60 celebrating you know it's a big achievement and this student is telling me they failed with their 85 percent top students are never satisfied and this is one thing that makes them keep on getting better because if you are not satisfied with an 85 you are going to go back and find what happened with the 15 and next time they will come with the 90 they're going to go back and find out what happened to the 10 percent and then next thing their final exams they're getting 100 percent it's because they were never satisfied with something less than that from the beginning and another thing is that top students are competitive so they like to compare themselves with classmates especially classmates who are doing well and that gives them that internal drive and motivation to study and do better you just look at someone and be like yo they're doing great in this subject or they are in the top three and one day i want to be in the top three i want to improve that's good because now you are being motivated and you are being inspired by this person compared to if you are just a student who's doing average and you're looking at your peers and they are doing really good but nothing is touching you you should ask yourself why you know because you know surrounding yourself with people who are doing well should somehow inspire you to do well that is why maybe sometimes top students are friends with top students could happen is that you know they love being around those people because they get inspired more and you know they talk the same language you know and stuff like that so that's why top students are competitive they take that competition and they go back and actually do better that is why they're able to study every day because they're thinking yo this person is probably studying even if they're not you know it's a mind game thing that oh if i'm sleeping someone else is probably studying let me wake up and actually study and now you are always this motivated person you know that's why you might be thinking why is a top student always motivated every day to study it's because they have a position to keep they have something to lose you know if their position one they have to maintain that position if they are position three they have to get to one if they are in the top 10 they have to stay in the top 10 so that is why they are always always in a rush to study in a mood to study eager to study because they feel like you know um they have something to lose or they don't want their classmates doing better than them the other thing that you do not know about top students is that they actually have a study timetable or a study schedule and that schedule is different from the schedule that you follow in school when they create their study timetable they do not just create only a timetable to just study ahead 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 
they mix their timetable with revision as well so that's why sometimes you find them doing a topic that you've done a couple of months ago and they're doing it today because they want to make sure that when exams come they remember almost everything that they have done i know i have been giving like more than 10 things already it is because i love you guys and i want you to go out there and be top students but i just have one last one and then we'll be done with the video the last one that i want to tell you is that top students don't rely on anyone for motivation what am i trying to say you know a lot of people like um motivation from other people like for example in order for you to study you want to watch becoming dr andy first that's when you study or you want to hear your teacher saying yo matrix 30 days before exams final exams you need to work or you want to hear your parents say hey stay out of the tv go and study your books you know there are a lot of things that people rely on in order for them to study and and that means that they're not disciplined at all and when it comes to top students top students don't really need study tips for them to go to study they don't need motivational videos for them to study they don't need a friend a teacher a parent motivating them or telling them to go to study because top students are disciplined and they have that inner drive they know that they have to wake up open their books and study and it is also because top students are big dreamers if you ask each and every one of them what do they want to do they'll tell you exactly what they want to do they know exactly why they are studying they know the requirements of what they want to study and they are aiming high you know they have big goals so it is very important for you to know why are you doing what you're doing why are you actually studying what is it that you are aiming for because sometimes if you are just studying you'll be asking yourself is this school thing even necessary because me i don't even know what i want to do after school you know compared to if you really know that hey i am studying because i want to study medicine and medicine requires these marks and so forth and so forth so if you are a person who finds themselves lacking motivation every now and then ask yourself what are your goals what are you really aiming for why are you doing exactly what you are doing so that every time you lack motivation you remind yourself that hey you want to be doctor so and so one day you know hey you want to get that 90 or hey you want to be position one and that will keep you going so we've come to the end of the video thank you so much for watching up until this far i hope you did enjoy the video and most importantly you have learned something and i hope you will use the information that i've given you to better yourself and maybe one day possibly be a top student and to my top students who are frustrated that i've just given all your secrets please chill it's really not that deep you can still maintain your position and now i mean it is good that i have shared this because now you have more competition because i am sure that all my average performers or all my top five top threes are coming for that number one position and that is exactly what i want for my med fanatics please do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't like and share this video to show some love and also comment down below if you are a top student what is it that you do that sets you apart from other students in your class and please no gatekeepers allowed thank you so much once again i'll see you again on another video bye